autumn scenery of Mount Hua Buju and Mount Chue was created by Zhao Meng Fu as the reason of his close friend Zhou Mi missed his hometown so much. The dimension of this painting is 28.4 centimeters long and 99.6 centimeters wide. Eight inscriptions of Empire Qianlong have been made and countless seals have been stamped. The whole picture adopts a plain and distant perspective, depicting the majestic and beautiful Chue and Hua Mountains and the villagers sheltered by its forests. Peacefully, it presents an image of a distant hometown, its mountains and rivers. From right to left, Mount Hua Buju rises from the plain and becomes a towering mountain covered in greens. At the foot of the mountain, the dense forest and river are echoing the green mountain behind. The nearby scarce pines are withered, rigorous, and abrupt. A wide and sparse plain lies ahead, and far away lays autumn waves and paddy fields of Bua village. The lush green trees are tied by the orderly mangrove reeds. Exactly the early autumn comes into view. In the middle of mountains and rivers, there are a few unhurried village men. They are either punting, fishing, watching, or shepherding, turning the bleak autumn scene into a lively one. The Mount Chue is shaped round, in contrast to the sharp Mount Hua Buju, which creates an interesting view. Flocks of sheep can be seen, strolling between huts and fields at the foot of the mountain. Occasionally, yellowed autumn leaves are carried by canoes, those drifting on the water. The leisurely work of the fishermen is like embellishing the scenic spots of the water town on Mount Niu Bay. This might be the dreamy and deeply missed Mount Chue and Mount Hua by Zhou Mi. Looking at Mount Chue and Mount Hua from above, the stunning autumn view is the paradise that Zhao Meng Fu has never stepped into, and it is also the hometown Zhou Mi will never get back. <laughs>